Okay, a week or two ago, I did a tutorial on uh, printing out uh, address labels using LibreOffice if you had a spreadsheet of contacts. Um, and that works, and LibreOffice is uh, cross-platform, which is great. So no matter what operating system you have, you should be able to run it on there. Um, but uh, a little bit easier, I think, is G-Labels, uh, which is specifically designed for creating labels. Not only address labels, but uh, like CD labels and stuff like that. Um, and it's very simple to use. Uh, unfortunately, I think it's Linux only, um, as far as I know. It might run on BSD or something like that, but I don't think it's available for Windows or Mac, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, but uh, luckily, anyone can use Linux, whether you commit to an install or just run it off a CD or USB flash drive or an SD card or something like that. So really no restrictions there. Um, and I'm just going to show you how, how to work this, because... Uh, Although it's very simple, if you've never done it before, there's a few things that might be a little confusing. So I'm going to say uh, new, and it shows your recent stuff, but by default, the first time you come in, I think it will be here on your search all. And here you can choose the brand of your labels. I'm going to choose Avery because they're fairly common, the page size, and then you can narrow down the category. Uh, we'll say mailing and shipping products. And then here you can choose... Um, the model of labels you have. So on your package of labels, there should be a number. So like this is Avery uh, 7162. And uh, once you find the one you're looking for, you can click continue. Ask if you what orientation you want. I would just do normal. Uh, and then here, last screen, um, on some of the labels I've tried, uh, it will have a long list of similar products. So if you have fairly common labels, maybe they've changed the model number over the years and changed them slightly, uh, it will show a list of similar products here. So we'll just click Apply, and this is what the label looks like. So here I can click on the T here for text. I can input some text. I can just say um, Tommy Jones, uh, 123 Pine Street, uh, Naples... Florida 43120 and uh, so that's what your label would look like you can change the style of the font here for the text we can up the size change uh, the fonts to something else if you wanted and then line it up and then at this point uh, and also you, you can also add in images here you can add in barcodes different shapes so you can do a lot with how your labels look. So if you wanted to have a nice background image, you could do that. But I just want to click print and I'm going to go print preview. And you'll see that this is great for return address because all your labels would be the same. Uh, and that may be what you want. But let's say it's Christmas time as it is right now when I'm recording this video and you're going to be sending out a whole bunch of um, letters to friends and you want to print up labels uh, based on your contact sheets, whether it be in like your Google contacts or um, your, uh, or you have a spreadsheet like our other example the other day. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to close this print preview and I'm going to delete that text box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go objects, merge properties. Then you're going to choose your format. Now, uh, I've mainly used in this tutorial, we're going to use the uh, CSV, the ca comma separated values. Uh, also, I've tried uh, V cards. These are two very common types of plain text files. If you have uh, a spreadsheet, you should be able to export it as a CSV. And if you have contacts, let's say in your Google contacts, you have options for CSV or V card. They're vo both very common, but there's some other options here as well. I'm going to choose CSV and then I'm going to find my CSV file, just a little example file I made. And here it gives you a list of what's in that file. So we can expand these and you can see this is the information that is available for each of those contacts. And now look and remember, you have a one, two, three here, because if you export from something like Google Docs, you will have probably a lot more information other than just the address. You'll probably have their email address, their phone number, maybe their date of birth. So find the items you want. Uh, should be the same for each contact, probably their name, street address, and then city, state, and zip. Um, find those and look at what their numbers are and write them out if you have to. In this case, I have a very simple file. I have one, two, and three. Uh, and I'll click OK. Notice nothing comes up on the label. This was the part that confused me for a little bit, so I had to Google it. What we're going to do is we're going to add a, another text box. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to go 
dollar sign and then squiggly braces or curly braces and I'm gonna do that three times now remember the numbers we were looking at before one two and three well that's right these are placeholders wherever you place this uh, and with a number will be that item so you can go a different order I could go uh, name on the second line if I want but I'll show you that in a second so we have our placeholders here I am going to go print again and I'm going to go print preview and here you can see that we have our contacts as they will print on the labels each one with their name address uh, and if we come in here I'll show you again if we change let's say we go two and one here and I go print and I'll do a print preview you can see now the name is on the second line so that's how you organize it and of course you can have other stuff on there depending on what you're doing I could type in here name and then if I go print print preview you'll see it print the word name and then the we'll put in the person's name based on this placeholder so that's fairly simple uh, once you know how to do it uh, and uh, did I already mention that you can do pictures barcodes and different shapes in the background here so if you wanted nice labels you can put an image or if you wanted a barcode if you're doing company stuff for people to scan you can do that as well I'm gonna give you another example here though because I hate working with labels so I am going to come in here I'm gonna say brand ain't any I'm gonna say page size and I am going to choose uh, number 10 envelope uh, just because that's the size envelope I'm using you can see here it tells you what size it is uh, and I'm just gonna click continue uh, I'm gonna say rotated and it'll tell you what side is up apply so let me bring this up here because it opened up in a new window get it in the recording area here so this is actually not just a label this is a full envelope and so I can do something like add text up here and I can say Tommy Carter one two three uh, Pine Street Naples Florida and the zip code and of course I can make that bigger and change the font if I'd like same as before you can put images in the background you can add a barcode if you want so you can add that down there and put in what it would be valued at if you did a valid barcode because you can't just type in any number if it's a valid barcode it's got to be a specific length and characters depending on the different types of barcode anyway I'm getting a little off topic here um, and again you can add shapes if you wanted shapes um, but we need to now let's say we want to print up a different envelope for each person we're mailing to same as before I'm going to add a second text box here and I'm going to type in my braces with the squigglies I already know that the list I'm using is going to be one two and three and I'm gonna say objects merge properties CSV choose my CSV file make sure you know you can look at the information make sure it's right get those numbers that you need which I've already put in here I'm gonna up the size of the font a little bit and now if I go print preview it's gonna preview it sideways unfortunately because um, ooh, okay see how the uh, return address is a little uh, messed up there that's because that's my fault for not resizing this whoops to fit where the address is going to be so now that I have resized it properly we'll go print print preview and now you can see the address and the name that's the first page because each envelope is going to be a new page there's a second page and there's the third page you can see that each time the return address has stayed the same but the person you're oh I should probably get this in the record area so you can see um, so you can see return address is the same on each but the mailing address that you're mailing to has each of the contacts that you imported so now you can just load up your printer with all your envelopes and just click print uh, which is what I prefer to do I don't like working with labels um, so that's it you can have a full image in the background if you want to use up all your ink but that's using G labels once again you it can do a bunch of other things other than uh, um, uh, just mailing addresses photo products uh, 
foldable, ca foldable cards. So you can make cards, business cards, uh, rectangular labels, round labels. And you can also just leave all these up to any and you can scroll through here and you'll see you have different types of CD labels and DVD labels. I bet you can probably do DVD cases in here would be a guess as well. Different size. So G label, very easy to use once you know the little secret of doing the merge properties and then assigning the values and placing them where you want. So I thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Um, and uh, I just hope that you have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe to my videos. Have a great day.